Hi everyone, I'm Seema Yasmin. I'm a doctor and a medical journalist at the Stanford Center for Health Education. Welcome to Viral Facts with Digital Medic. Today I'm answering this question. Should I get a COVID-19 vaccine if there are new variants? Well, first up, what even is a variant? A variant is basically just a version of the virus that's mutated. Viruses replicate by making copies of themselves that are basically like clones, but not every single new virus that's made ends up being identical. It's like if you had to copy a document hundreds of times, there might be a typo here or there. That's what can happen with viruses. As they make new versions of themselves, small mutations can arise. So when we talk about variants, we're still talking about the coronavirus that causes COVID-19, but we're talking about newer versions of that virus that have changed a bit. Some mutations do not offer any advantage to the virus. They kind of just fizzle out, disappear. Other mutations can make the virus stronger and can help it spread more easily. So the big question is, do the vaccines we have right now protect us against new variants? And the answer is yes, they do. Viral variants have not completely outwitted the current vaccines. It's just that in some cases, the vaccines end up being less protective against the variants, but they are still effective to some degree. And to tackle this problem, scientists are currently developing new vaccines specifically to protect against some of the new variants. And they're trying to see if adding a booster shot of existing vaccines, where you basically get an additional dose a little while later, whether that would help protect us against variants. So the big question is, should you wait to get the vaccine while variants are being studied? And the answer to that is no. You should get vaccinated as soon as possible. The data so far suggests that most vaccines likely provide at least partial protection from the variants especially those variants first detected in the UK, South Africa, and Brazil. Getting a vaccine might protect you less against variants, but it would still protect you to some extent. And think about it like this. Say you're outside on a summer day, the weather is gorgeous, but there are loads of mosquitoes out there. So you spray yourself with bug spray. Now, obviously the bug spray doesn't guarantee that you won't get bitten at all, but it massively decreases your chances of ending up covered head to toe in itchy mosquito bites. And obviously just a few bites is better than being covered in them. So it's the same with the vaccines. It's better to protect and prepare yourself with a vaccine than to have no protection at all. Even better, if you get vaccinated now, it's possible you'll be able to go back later and get a booster that gives you extra protection against variants. And there's already at least one company working on a booster shot to enhance protection against the variant first detected in South Africa. This idea of an updated version of a COVID vaccine is actually similar to what we do with the flu shot, where we update it every year. And there's this as well. There's newer evidence that getting vaccinated does more than protect you from getting sick. In some cases, it can make you less contagious, meaning you're less likely to pass the virus onto other people. That's even more reason to get vaccinated as soon as possible, because it's when the virus keeps spreading from one person to another to another, that the virus has the opportunity to mutate and make newer variants. So I hope this clears up some of the questions and the misinformation about viral variants and vaccines. There's been so much fear mongering out there. I'll be back next week with answers to more of your questions. In the meantime, please subscribe, ring the bell to make sure you don't miss our next episode. You can also visit our website for tons of accurate and very up-to-date information about COVID-19. Until next week, stay safe.